Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about what we can uh, define in this base and receivable setup. Uh, there are a lot of things that you need to consider uh, when, uh, especially when you are uh, implementing uh, Business Central. Uh, there are some things that you can use or not, depend of your business. Uh, and how uh, your company want to manage this. So basically, we will go to Business Central and check what we need to consider and also what you can uh, define uh, on the sales and receivable setup. Please subscribe my channel and add your comments. I am more than happy to answer uh, every question that you can may have. So uh, let's go uh, to Business Central and check uh, how we can and what we can do in the sales and receivable setup. So let's go Business Central here. Uh, uh, let's click here and in the Explore More Rules. Uh, and then we will go to Receivable Setup and then sales uh, and receivable setup so here uh, let's uh, use the edit mode uh, so we can check what is uh, what was activated uh, and, and not in this uh, chronos company so uh, first item is a discount posting so here uh, you can define how you will work with discount uh, if you want to uh, post all discount, uh, if you want mm, that the system calculate the discount but not post any dis dis discount, uh, also you can define that you uh, will post just uh, the invoice di discount uh, and also uh, just the line discount. Also, here you can define how you, you work with the credit warrant. Uh, what this means uh, every time that you create a uh, uh, sales order, uh, how, how the system will uh, warn you about the customer if they have a credit problem or not. So, here you can define uh, how you can work, uh, that you can use the both. Uh, uh, you can just see uh, uh, the credit limit and, uh, or you can uh, just uh, receive a message for overdue balance or also you can define that you don't want to be boring uh, uh, with this kind of, of warning. Okay, also here you can define if you want to receive uh, the message that uh, when you select an item in the sales order, uh, Business Central uh, inform you that if you don't have uh, stock enough for the sales order. Uh, also, here uh, you, you can specify um, how you, you work with the invoice routing. Uh, uh, if we uh, if the system uh, have to apply uh, this order uh, uh, or not. Okay, also um, we have either the full eating item quantity. Uh, what this means uh, that uh, if you want that the system always uh, add uh, quantity one uh, when you create um, uh, a sales uh, document. Okay. Uh, also, here you can define if you want um, uh, uh, if the system let you create an item. Uh, if you specify, for example, one um, item uh, number that uh, that the system can cannot find in the business center so you in this case uh, the system will suggest you to create the new item uh, also the same here uh, with uh, 
uh, description. If you inform uh, a new item that, that doesn't match uh, with uh, the description that we have in, in business set. Also, we can define here how you will apply, uh, how you will do the application between uh, currents. So you can select that uh, uh, you never do this kind of application. Uh, uh, you can uh, select the EMU uh, application, or you can define that you will do all. Also, uh, you can define here uh, uh, when the system uh, will create the sales uh, document, uh, uh, what it will be your posting date. Uh, so here you can select work date or uh, uh, no, no date. Usually you use the work date. Also, you can set up if you uh, if you want to allow uh, tax difference. So you just have to select E. Uh, if you want to uh, calculate the invoice discount uh, uh, automatically, so you can uh, select this. Also, you can select E uh, the tax uh, business posting group uh, price uh, if you want to work. This uh, depends on how your company works. Also, uh, we can uh, define here how you work with um, prepayment uh, out update frequency. If you want to do this, uh, if you want to do this, uh, uh, if you don't want to do this, if you want to do this daily or weekly. Uh, also, uh, we have this option to ignore update address uh, and uh, uh, skip manual reservation. That is something that you can do. Uh, and then we have uh, the document, uh, the full line type. Uh, that means that uh, always when you uh, create uh, a new line in the sales order, uh, the first line will, will be created. Like, with the type item, or you can define here should be a GL account, should be a resource, a fixed asset, or a charge item. Okay, also you can select here uh, what is the uh, customer group uh, dimension that you can use for your report, and also the salesperson dimension uh, that you can use. So basically, you can go here. Uh, and select in this case he we have the customer uh, group uh, and he we have the sales person so uh, we can just go uh, and select also he uh, we can define what is the bank deposit uh, number series that we will use uh, and also uh, if you will post a bank deposit as a uh, summarized sum so uh, you, you need to check if it's, uh, it's relevant for you. Also, uh, here is uh, the place that we define basically uh, all uh, serial numbers that we use uh, in the sales um, area. Uh, so you can see here that we have the customer number, uh, the code number, blank order number, order number return order uh, number, invoice number, post invoice number, credit memo, post credit memo, uh, post shipment number. Uh, uh, anyway, all documents that we use uh, in the sales department. So he, uh, when you are doing the implementation process, uh, you need to spend some time in order to define every serial number that you use. Also here uh, you can define what is, uh, how you, you work with the background posting. If you have uh, a job key that you, uh, that you post uh, automatically out of uh, uh, work hours, uh, 
they say use orders that is uh, okay that you uh, that you have item in in, in stock uh, and the and the sales order that it, it was already uh, released so he is the the place that you can uh, set up this also you can define here uh, how you you work with the archiving process so you can see here that we have how you will archive the codes how you can archive um, uh, if we will uh, uh, archive the blank orders, the orders and the uh, return of. So basically, here is what we have uh, in terms of setup. Uh, let me see if we. Ah, okay. There are um, uh, something else that we should uh, uh, check. Uh, one thing is how you you work with uh, comments. So uh, basically, he uh, uh, you 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 can define uh, if you want to copy the com com comment from one document to another. Uh, and also, he uh, we have to blanket to order, for example, uh, comments from. Uh, order to invoice what what, what happened and uh, let's give you a uh, real example so let's see that you create uh, a sales order uh, um, or a blank order for example and you add a comment in the blank order and you want to copy this comment uh, because it's a it's a good way for you to uh, follow up about what is happening so yeah I, I, if a sales um, person uh, let a comment so it's important that you can check this later so it's good that you activate this uh, option in, in business center okay i think we talked about everything that is uh, relevant uh, uh, in terms of setup that you can do here in the sales and receivable uh, setup so please uh, subscribe my channel uh, and add your comments and let me know if you have uh, any question or any doubt. Thank you and see you uh, next video.